connected. Oh, it's letting off the rain a little bit, so maybe I won't get wet. It was absolutely pouring, and it's facing to again. If I don't make it home before it gets here, but I think I got plenty of time. It's not going to stop, but it has slowed down considerable. But if you ride motorcycles, you know how it can just look like it's sprinkling like right now. But the faster you go, the harder it feels like it's raining. So I'm definitely going to get totally soaked before I get home. But uh, just a quick tip for you guys. If you ever have to go, I got my work tennis shoes on. So see, this is just a Walmart sack on my feet. Tied and then I got a rubber band on it to keep my feet dry. So, and it does work pretty good. You just got to be careful not to uh, walk too heavy uh, on a lot of stuff. Or be careful with your foot pegs or you'll rip the sacks. Then your feet will get wet. But I'm going to get wet. But I, all I have to do is change my uh, clothes, dry off. And then my shoes will be pretty much dry by the time I get home. But it's... Uh, it's definitely going to be a wet one. Because it just stopped and I mean it was poor and it was really a dump in the rain. I'm going to go this way because that light's fixing to turn red. People are probably laughing saying, look at that idiot on the motorcycle. But I know there's people at work, they're like, are you crazy? You're on the bike? Ah, uh, heck, it ain't going to kill me. I mean, it is if you don't know how to ride in the wet stuff. You got to be careful on the wet because uh, you definitely don't have the traction that you have on the dry stuff. But the basics to riding on the wet stuff is try not to lean too much in the corner. Definitely be a lot easier on the braking. Allow yourself plenty of time. Don't get too close to nobody following because you're not going to be able to stop. Now if you have ABS that would probably help. I don't have the ABS on this model. Uh, that and use some uh, and I put this um, window cleaner, it's the Rain-X, and it makes it on my shield to where the water, it really don't bother you because the drops bead up on there and then they just roll off to the sides. It does better when you're going a little more speed, the wind will blow uh, the raindrops right off of your shield. I don't use that all the time. I actually use uh, lens cleaner for glasses. For your glasses and it's better on your the plastic uh, shields but for this case I always spray it down with uh, some of that rain X window cleaner and that works pretty good another thing is watch your corners if you're leaning into a corner and you hit a mud puddle you can definitely really it's it's a lot easier to hydroplane and for one thing is when you're leaning into a corner on a motorcycle usually especially on a dual sport with knobbies you don't have near as much tread on the ground when you're leaning into a corner so you definitely want to be careful on that and then we'll see if we we don't if we can if you're behind somebody, you're better off to ride in their tracks as long as you're not too far behind. Because it actually, they throw the water out of the track and you kind of got, it's not a dry spot, but it splashes a lot of the water out of your way. Makes it better for riding. But now a lot of the roads around here, if you ride in the tra people's tracks, so the problem is this asphalt roads, after the the road settles in those tracks are they kind of dip down where each track is 
and they actually hold water and the center or the outsides away from the track is actually the dry spot or drier but the tracks will actually hold water you can see this one here hopefully you can see that on the video but that track and this track here is full of water but in the center there's no water so you don't want to ride in the track if that's the case cement is better for that this is asphalt here now this hill right here I just got onto cement but cement it works pretty good if you ride in their tracks on cement roads or highways now when you get on the back roads around here that are chip and seal it really doesn't matter because there's potholes everywhere there's potholes in the chip and seal so there's going to be mud holes everywhere But now, as you can see right here, if you can see this in front of me, the two tire tracks is what has the water in them. The center part here don't. It's a lot rougher, and those, but those tire tracks have settled down, and the asphalt is smashed down, and, and uh, uh, so that's not the good place to ride. The best place to ride right now is down right down the middle. And then, of course, watch for uh, big puddles. They run over in the road sometimes. There'll be a spot over here and the water will run across the road. And you want to watch that, not hydroplane. I've not had too much of a problem with it. Here, these knobby tires have deep enough tread. It usually don't seem to cause much of a problem. But it can, like this in here. See, this is holding water right here. Luckily, we're on this lane, don't have to worry about it. Hopefully, you can see all this okay with the raindrops on the lens of the camera. And hopefully, the wind noise is not too terrible. I can't really help that. Can't get rid of all of it. Another tip that I also recommend is when you ride in the rain it slings up all this road grime and this stuff on your bike it's really dirty nasty stuff so as soon as you get home what I do is I pull in I take the garden hose I just rinse the bike off up under the fender wells the wheels the tires and pretty much the whole bike and it it will rinse most of that off before or otherwise when your bike dries out it's gonna be pretty nasty there's a motorcycle rider right there Looks like he's going to the car wars, but I'm afraid he's a little bit late. Ah, uh, he may be not going to the car wars. That's also another good tip is, too, one thing I do when riding in the rain is I keep an eye out for, uh, I memorize where places are that I can pull over. I know that that car wars is there. I know where the ones are in Cassville. If you happen to get out, any place that there's a canopy you can get under. Even if you know somebody and they have a one of those carports or someplace you can get in there at their house. Uh, I even will pull up under this here. I have before. Up under that right there and stay dry on the way home if it starts pouring. So that's always a good thing to memorize where some places like that is to get under and stay dry. Watch out for big mud holes like these. Riding in wet conditions on a motorcycle. A lot of people don't do it, and I can tell you one thing. The best way to not worry about it is don't do it. I mean, I don't ever recommend riding in the rain. I do, just because I pretty much ride all the time. So, but I don't recommend it at all, especially if you're not experienced on a motorcycle. If you're new to it and you're not... Even if you're new to a motorcycle, a certain motorcycle, you got a new one, you're not familiar with it, I wouldn't recommend it at all being on wet roads. So basically, I want you to understand too that the tips that I'm giving, this is just what I do. And I wanted to share with everybody, but uh, I don't want, I'm not going to be liable for anything. So what I'm saying is, you know, use it at your own discretion. And as I said, 
if you're not comfortable riding in the rain or on wet roads, just don't do it. Just stay home or drive your vehicle. That's 100% no matter how good you are, that's the safest thing to do. Uh oh, somebody's standing down here. Hitchhiker. My goodness. I don't know what that guy thinks he's driving a semi or what. I don't know, but the old boy ain't getting a ride with me. Old Tanker Man or Dale or somebody, they'd give him a ride, but on their bike, but I'm not. I'm actually going to make it home and really not get that wet. The worst place you'll get wet is right on the front part of your legs because the front tire will splash water up on there. And that's the part where you'll get the most uh, water on you. That canopy there of a friend right there, I the other day I was going to stop at that. It was fixing the rain. And I was going to stop and pull under that canopy. And I thought, no, nah, I can make it. It's only another mile, if not even three-quarter mile or miles of the house. I can make it. Well, that was a mistake. <laughs> I should have pulled under there and just waited. But I went ahead and went on. And I mean, I got totally drenched. I got crazy wet. But luckily I had anticipated getting wet, so I went ahead and I took out my wallet, my keys, uh, because my Jeep Wrangler key is one of the uh, keys that open the door, so the uh, push buttons on it, and I didn't want to get wet. I take out my uh, anything in there I don't want to get wet, stick it in a Ziploc bag, and then I got this Nelson rig bag on the back here. Of course, it has a rain cover. And right now, I actually have the rain cover on it. So, that will help a lot. It won't get wet in there. And here I am. I got my climb jacket, pants, and everything at home. And if I would have wore that today, I wouldn't get wet at all. I don't know why I'm saying that. I'm not wet now. Not really. Just a little bit. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's probably that guy's car. I bet that's that guy that's walking. He broke down. Now see, I should have been good. Let him use my cell phone. Actually, if he's wanting to use a phone, he could have stopped at anybody's house up through there. He's almost to town anyway. I just don't want some man on there behind me rubbing up against me, so uh, that ain't going to happen. And I would never give a woman a ride, except for my wife. Not that I don't want to help somebody, but I would never let a woman on here behind me. Besides my wife or my daughter. Usually there's a big mud puddle here, plumb across the road. It's actually not today. We must not have got as much rain out here as they did at Cassville. See my USB connector I took and unplugged the uh, drift camera from it and went ahead and put the cap on there because I didn't want that getting wet inside. I was going to show you something on the back of the bike here that I did. Let me see if my camera lens is clear. Eh, maybe it ain't too bad. Um, this, uh-oh, that thing broke. I have this piece of plastic on here. It's a pretty old. It was on my first 250L. And I put this on here. It came down actually kind of to a point on it rounded a little bit more. But this little bit, adding this on, because this is the TST taillight, well, when you put this on and just the Liza plate, you'll get a lot of water slinging up on your back. But just this little piece here, I made it the shape of the license plate and then out of plastic and then it comes down like this. And just that little bit is amazing how much uh, it stops the water from coming up on your back. 
But it's broke, so I can actually just trim it off. I think it's still good enough. Just kind of round it off. Probably a rock flew up and hit it uh, when I was riding. So, anyhow, I can hear it rumbling. It's fixing to get with it again. Walmart booties work pretty good. Rubber band around it. I'm dry. I really appreciate you guys watching Woodsman Adventures. Please click the thumbs up right now. I know everybody forgets because when I get a thousand views on a video and it's got 32 thumbs up, either you guys don't like it or you're just not clicking the thumbs up. You think, ah, why worry about it? But just click the thumbs up. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Right on. Thank <laughs> you.